It's time now for the best high school sports action from the WBCB Sports Network. Catch the best games from Bucks and Mercer County at WBCBSports.com and our Facebook page. Your home for high school sports is right here at WBCB 1490. For the first time since 2019, the Neshaminy Lady Skins are Suburban One League Patriot Division champions. They've earned a home playoff game and seek their first win of the season against the Falcons of Pensbury High School. Both teams enter tonight's contest at 17 and five and will add yet another chapter to one of the most storied rivalries in Bucks County. Good evening, everybody. Tonight's game on WBCB is brought to you in part by Jefferson Health, The Revere Restaurant, Team Toyota, St. Mary Medical Center, McCaffrey Supermarket. This is the McCaffrey's game of the night. Rob's Automotive and Collision, BCWSA, Penn Community Bank, The Trentonian, DiLorenzo's The Berg Pizza, Pensbury Girls Basketball Parents Club, Jammer Doors and Windows, the Peruzzi Auto Group, and the Pensbury Regional Basketball League, all proud to sponsor tonight's game on WBCB. A pleasant good evening, everybody. Mike Warren alongside Eric DiCrescenzo, excited to bring you first round action of the Suburban One League Tournament here on WBCB. Eric, as we welcome you into our Trentonian pregame festivities, the last time the Falcons were out on the court, we had that action right here on WBCB. It was a victory over Council Rock North on the road, 31 to 22. It was Nevaeh Dash taking home Italian People Bakery. Player of the game honors in that one. And the Falcons back in the win column before the Suburban One League tournament kicks off here tonight against the Neshamney team that they've beat their last three times out starting in the Suburban One League tournament a year ago. Yeah, it's, uh, it's one of those matchups where even though the record with each other might seem a little lopsided, it's always a matchup that is close until the end. So, you know, it's a rivalry, and like you said leading into this, there's a lot of chapters to it, and one thing that you know is rivalries, no matter what point in the season, are always going to be competitive. It's been a couple of one-point victories this season for Pensbury against the Skins. The last time these two teams met, back on January 24th, right here, 31 to, 31 to 30. Falcons won that one right here on this floor, and Neshaminy trying to prove that they are every bit worthy of beating this team and every bit worthy of that SOL Patriot Division Championship here tonight, trying to get back on track against a Falcon squad that, again, they haven't beaten in over a year. Yeah, and honestly, it might be one of those things where it's, you just have to get over the hump of actually winning it. Like you said, two one point losses this year uh, it's one of those things where you just it it feels like you can't beat them until you beat them uh, so obviously tonight Nishamini hosting a tournament game at home uh, just becoming champions for the first time in a, a handful of years they obviously have some some momentum going for them, and uh, they are going to want to try to carry it into finally getting over that hump and taking down the Falcons. John Gallagher for the Skins in his second season, bringing home a Suburban One League Patriot Division Championship for the first time since 2019. You mentioned the momentum of the Skins of late rolling as uh, they defeated Ben Salem their last time out, 51-27. to They've got a lot of talent on this roster, and the scouting report that we got sent over from Coach Frank Ciola, they highlight the one their one-star player in uh, Zemitis, who has had a handful, more than a handful, multiple handfuls of Division One offers already as a junior. We were talking a little bit off air, Eric, and you mentioned that she was impressive last year, and you were shocked that she was only a sophomore. The fact that she's a junior now, she's taken even a bigger leap from a season ago. Uh, she's an exciting player to watch. Yeah, last year I did a couple of the Pensbury and Ashamney games, and somehow I forgot to look at her grade in the roster <laughs> and just assume that she was a senior, uh, you know, being a, uh, about six feet tall, uh, being able to score everywhere on the floor. And I think the biggest thing with her, yeah, she's got the Division One offers and everything, but you can tell she's a leader. We walked in the gym, there were, there were two Nishamini players shooting around when it was well over 65 minutes before game time, one of them is the Midas. And like I said, she's someone that can score from every spot of the floor, inside, outside, uh, outside shooting, inside post moves, everything. And obviously, look, Coach Ciola is no dummy. He knows that's who they got to try to key in on to win this game. <laughs> 
So we talked about the Skins, who they're led by offensively. Let's look at the other side, the Falcons. Sophia Vitucci, not as tall as Zemitis is. Zemitis listed at six foot one. Some might say six foot two. Sophia Vitucci around five nine or so, but she can get her bucket from just about anywhere on the floor. How do the Falcons get her going tonight? You have to imagine Nishamani's going to throw a whole lot of length and size at her tonight. Absolutely, and I really think in order for the Falcons to get uh, Vitucci going, they need they need Dash to step up as well. What I've noticed with Pensbury is when the two of them are clicking, that's when they're at their best. So if the two of them can really click and hit their shots and play with the energy that they need to play with, the Falcons are going to be fine. Uh, especially Vitucci is a player that I think feeds off of a lot of energy. So when she's doing what she does best, uh, you know, playing with the high energy, taking charges and getting turnovers on the defensive end, that's when you're going to see her offense really step up as well because she's one of those energizer bunnies. Tonight's Pensbury, Pensbury girls basketball game is brought to you in part by ShopRite of Yardley and Yang Orthodontics in Langhorn and Newtown. Visit ShopRite of Yardley on Big Oak Road for all of your holiday needs and get your genuine smile design at Yang Orthodontics. Call for an appointment at 215-757-0864 or visit yangorthodontics.com. Alongside Eric Gilmore, my name is Mike Warren. Excited for Suburban One League Tournament Round 1 action here on WBCB. We'll have starting lineups and jump ball for you on the other side. This is the Trentonian pregame show. Don't go anywhere. You're watching high school basketball on WBCB. Whether you're just getting started, already well on your way, planning for your future, drafting your vision, growing toward greatness, or finding that dreams really can come true. Whatever your next steps are, we'll be right here with you, just like we have been for 150 years. Start here, grow here, stay here. Penn Community Bank. Here we are, and here we grow. Member FDIC. BCWSA customers, former Phillies pitcher Tommy Green here. I played on the 1993 National League Champs, so I know a thing or two about what it's like playing on a winning team. BCWSA has all the ingredients. They make it easy for their customers to get automatic updates by text, email, or phone anytime there is a disruption in your service area. You can even customize your alerts by going to bcwsa.net. That's bcwsa.net. BCWSA, your partner for a safer environment. BCWSA, proven. Jefferson Health has been serving Northeast Philadelphia and Bucks County for more than a century. Their Frankfurt, Tarsdale, and Bucks Hospital locations are there for you with primary and specialty care, emergency care, and of course, inpatient care. Wherever you live, work, or play, Jefferson Health is there with exceptional care. Jefferson is where you are. Call 1-800-JEFF-NOW to schedule an appointment or visit jeffersonhealth.org. McCaffrey's Food Markets, exceptional every day. Family owned and operated for over 40 years, McCaffrey's is part of your community and a very proud supporter of our local high schools. For true value on the freshest meats and produce to their own prepared food department, to everyday savings on your necessary items, McCaffrey's is exceptional every day. And it's in your neighborhood in the Edgewood Village Shopping Center, 635 Heacock Road, Yardley, the villages of Newtown at 2890 South Eagle Road, and also in Bluebell, Princeton, West Windsor, and the best of McCaffrey's in Doylestown. You are not just building a company. You are helping to build your community. For 150 years, Penn Community Bank has been strengthening our region, serving as a trusted partner and resource for businesses like yours. Our team of business bankers can get you where you need to go. Real relationships, expert advice, swift solutions to power your growth. Start here, grow here, stay here. Penn Community Bank. Here we are, and here we grow. Member FDIC, Equal Opportunity Lender. <laughs> Starting lineups brought to you tonight by the Pensbury Regional Basketball League, PRBL, in its 30th-plus season. We'd like to wish both the Pensbury girls and boys basketball teams the best of luck this year. Many of today's players got their first start with basketball playing in the Pensbury Regional Basketball League. PRBL is one of the area's premier basketball leagues for players in the Pensbury School District and neighboring districts. Their in-house program is for players of all skill levels, and PRBL also offers travel programs for more skilled players grades 3 to 8. To learn more about the Pensbury Regional Basketball League, visit PRBL 
PRBLonline.com. That's PRBLonline.com. And, look, and good luck, Falcons, from PRBL. Proud to support you. Starting lineups tonight for both of these teams. First for the visiting Falcons. Tentative starters for the Falcons tonight. It'll be Emily Panero, Layla Mathias, Sofia Vitucci, Olivia Gilchrist, and Nevaeh Dash. The five for the Falcons again. Panero, the freshman, getting the start. Layla Mathias as well. Sofia Vitucci, Olivia Gilchrist, and Nevaeh Dash. Nevaeh Dash last time out. The Italian People's Bakery player of the game with nine points in that one. Vitucci with ten the last time out. The Falcons victorious after a six-game losing streak snapped by Council Rock South on their home floor where the Golden Hawks of Council Rock South made nine threes where they spaced out the Falcons and snapped a six-game winning streak. For the Skins and the Chamonix, their starting lineup, it'll be Elena Cofield, the sophomore in the backfield, with Lola Ibarando, Taylor Gurish, and Reese Zemitis, along with Jess Purdy. Again, Cofield, Ibarando, Gurish, Zemitis, and Purdy. We'll step aside here, let the public address announcer take over from the Chamonix High School. Let's meet tonight's starters. Up first for Pensbury, number three, Emily Panera. Number five, Layla Mathias. Number 21, Sophia Vitucci. Number 22, Olivia Gilchrist. Number 24, Nevaeh Dash. Now for your Nishamini Redskins. Up first, number two, Elena Cofield. Number two, number 11, Lola Ivarato. Number 22, Reese Zemitis. Number 23, Jess Purdy. And number 13, Taylor Gurridge. The Falcons are coached by Frank Sciola. The family is coached by John Gallagher. All right, the table is set. We're going to step aside and honor America here on WBCB. Jump ball coming up next here from Neshaminy High School. Hi, Merrill Reese reminds you to come back home to traditional Italian cuisine at the Revere Restaurant, 802 River Road in Ewing Township. You'll always feel welcome at the Revere. It's like stepping back in time where you'll feel like you're dining in South Philly or New York's Little Italy. Start your meal with complimentary Hoboken bread. Choose from a menu featuring fresh seafood dishes, succulent steaks and chops, or homemade pasta dishes. You can even eat at the bar. The Revere is open seven days for lunch and dinner. Private room available for special affairs, plus catering. For reservations, call 609-882-6365 at 609-882-6365. Come home to traditional Italian cuisine, the Revere Restaurant, 802 River Road, Ewing Township. Don't let joint pain bring you down. See how you can get relief at a free joint pain seminar at St. Mary Orthopedics. Joint care experts will inform and answer questions about diagnosing, managing, and treating joint problems, and knowing when it's time for a joint replacement. Ready to get back to life? Get to the next free joint pain seminar. Details at stmaryhealthcare.org slash joint seminar. It's your health. Expect more. Former Philly Tommy Green, and here's... Don't forget, if you miss any of today's action, you can read all about it in tomorrow's edition of The Trentonian for your complete local and national news seven days a week. It's The Trentonian or online at trentonian.com, the only newspaper serving Bucks, Burlington, and Mercer County seven days a week. It's The Trentonian.
The table is set round three between the Neshaminy Lady Skins and the Pensbury Falcons here from Neshaminy High School. Round one of the Suburban One League Tournament here on WBCB. It's Matthias and Zemitis at midcourt getting ready to jump ball. Pensbury sporting the black road uniforms with the orange writing, orange numbers, orange trim. Neshaminy the home whites. Jump ball up and won by the Skins. Ivarondo over to Gurish. Inside, here's the Midas. Up and under move, forcing it up and gets the roll. There you go right there, Mike. He got a double team and Zemitis just goes right through it and gets the opening bucket of the game. Skin strike first here on their home floor. Nevaeh Dash calling out the offensive set, moving things around. Emily Panero in the corner, looking for help. Gilchrist flashes high post. Vitucci catch and shoot three, bank is open. Three pointer is good by Sophia Vitucci. Vitucci, the leading scorer for the Falcons, strikes blood first from beyond the arc for them. And they take an early lead, it's three to two. Yeah, and we talked about before the game, what could get her going. That's the other thing that could get her going. Oh, my <laughs> in the pose again, trying to force it up. It's loose. Cofield with a second chance effort. She kicks it out. Corner, Zemitis thought about it. Moving it around. Iberando into the corner. Catch and shoot three is good. Knocked down from the corner that time. It's Jess Purdy. Nishamani back on top by two. Vitucci, high post to Matthias. Zemitis on her, corner, Panero, back around. Here's Dash, back to Panero now. Gurish on her, Purdy goes over to help. Vitucci, jab steps, drives, kick, corner, Dash. Falcons working it around, Matthias, 12 footer, too strong. Zemitis with a board, here come the skins. Zemitis into the front court, head full of steam. Opposite side, corner, Cofield. Back out. Again, this is Purdy inside low block. Cofield wide open, didn't see it. Corner, Zemitis, catch and shoot three. Won't go. Rebound by Gurish. Second chance, it's swatted and a foul is called. They'll get Layla Mathias with her first, Pensbury's first. Fouls on Layla Mathias. That's her first. Taylor Gurish will go and here's the line Taylor Gurish to the line, one of the captains of this team. And that was that was nothing but great ball movement that ended up causing that offensive rebound because the defense was scrambling every which direction. So when the shot was off, next thing you know, someone that was completely uncovered on the box out, and it leads to two points. Gurish nets a pair. It's a four-point advantage for the Skins. Matthias, skip pass over to Panero. Here's Dash. Pretty good turnout tonight here in the Shamini High School. Skins fans getting into it. Loving the defensive effort to this point. This is Matthias. Picks up her dribble, needs help. It's stolen around midcourt. Dash gets it back. She's in trouble, needs help. Gilchrist, high post. Looking for Panero, muscling for it. It's loose. Here's Cofield. Nishamani the other way in transition, corner, transition three. It's good. Purdy's got two from the land of great beyond. Give her six. It's a timeout on the floor. 5 7 to go first quarter. Frank Ciola wants to talk some things over with the Falcons. That's a 30 second timeout. You're listening to the McCaffrey's Food Markets Game of the Day. McCaffrey's, exceptional every day in the Edgewood Village Shopping Center, 635 Heacock Road in Yardley, and the Villages of Newtown, 2890 South Eagle Road. Well, Eric, spacing, shooting, some defense to offense that time, and transition three is not always the highest percentage look, but that time paying off for Neshamini. Yeah, transition three, you have to get it at the perfect time, and they certainly got that. I'll tell you what, Neshaminy looks like a team that was out here warmed up and ready to go. <laughs> yeah, something we talked about before the broadcast started. It did take some time for the Falcons to hit the court. Four warm-ups got out here with about 18 minutes on the clock. A little bit of a slow start for the Falcons, trailing by seven. It's Dash and Vitucci running the point. This is Vitucci, left wing. Danielle McDonald into the game. Dash in the, in the corner. 
Looking inside, picks up her dribble, needs help. Baseline, here's Matthias. Matthias puts it on the floor. Dash. Matucci, corner, catch and shoot. McDonald on the way. Long, off back iron. Rebound brought in. It's Iberondo in transition. Cross court. Zemitis, corner to Cofield. Cofield got away with an extra step that time. Nishamini keeps the possession alive. Iberondo works it around. Zemitis. Purdy. She's already got two threes in the corner. Skip pass, opposite corner. Zemitis, high post, dumps it down low. Cofield on the low block. Back out. Zemitis on the way. Count it. It's a triple. She's got five already. Nishamini up by 10 early on. Yeah, Nishamini's making it rain from the outside right now. <laughs> There's just nothing short of describing that other than just making it rain. Dash works it into the corner. This is Sherman. Over to Vitucci. Corner. Sherman thought about it. Jab steps. Gives it to Matthias. She's at the top of the key. She'll drive. Taking Cofield. Pushes it up. And she'll go to the line for two, forcing the foul that time. Layla Mathias. They will get Elena Cofield. It's her first. That's her first. Team's first. Yeah, and that was really Layla just the, uh, the swipe of the arm by Cofield is what got her on that one. Mathias can't get the shooter's roll on the first. Presley Foote will check in for the Presley first time. Foote. Daniela McDonald, Davis. well with Nev Davis. Lindsay Little and Ava Irizarian checked in for Nishamini. Ava Irizarian for the first time tonight for Nishamini. Matthias can't get either to go that time at the line. Big break for Nishamini, up by 10, looking to increase the lead. Into the corner that time, Irizarry. Three on the way. Battled, battled for, Zemitis fighting, Pensbury gets it, Presley Foot coming up with a big time rebound. When she lacks in size, she makes four in heart and hustle. Presley Foot, a valuable member off the bench for the Falcons. Falcons working it around the perimeter, here's Nev Davis. Sherman in the corner, back to Davis, well beyond the arc, Vitucci. Draws a double, and a foul is called. Iva Rondo gets called for the foul. She's in a little bit of disbelief. Here's Vitucci, resetting for the Falcons. She'll go into the post up. Kick out, Davis with a pump fake. Working it around to the Falcons. Can't get a clean look so far. Here's Presley Foot. Corner, Davis. Matthias. Opposite to Vitucci. Vitucci's going to drive, pull up, gets the foul call. And it's going to be on the floor, it looks like. It will. Yeah, it's an interesting, it's an interesting call by the officials to mark that on the floor because it was pretty simultaneous with the uh, <laughs> with the shot going up. Matucci pull up from 14 feet, short. Falcons battling for it. It's Presley Foot again. Big time board. Matucci catch and shoot for three. Long battle for it. Matthias fighting. Zemitis gets it for Nishamini. <laughs> wow. Did you see the way she grabbed that board? She used that long wingspan and just took it right out of the grasp of some Falcons. Eric pass brought in by Nev Davis for the Falcons. Under two minutes to go first quarter. Falcons trailing by 10. Vitucci, the only points in the quarter for Pensbury was a triple. Sherman kicking out of the corner to foot. Davis. She'll drive. Out. Sherman straight on for three. Yes. Danielle Sherman with a big time triple. Falcons deficit is seven. Zemitis bringing it up for Nishamini now, dumping it into the corner. Irizarry moving it around. Nishamini wanted a three in the corner, they didn't take it. Irizarry driving, Euro stepping, and getting it off the glass for two. Strong drive from Ibarando that time. Lead goes back to nine. 
as we approach the minute mark here in the first quarter. Matucci in trouble, gets it to Matthias. Met with a double team and Ivarondo gets called for the foul. Second foul against Lola Ivarondo. Definitely something to monitor. Lola Ivarondo, her second. Olivia Gilchrist. And that's someone that the, uh, the Skins really don't want coming off the floor because Ivarondo is one of those players that is one of the heartbeats of this team. So that's, going, that's definitely going to be something to monitor as we still have another quarter in the first half. 50 seconds and counting. Falcons down by nine. Here's Foot to Davis. Cofield hounding her. Foot, pump fake to three. Puts it on the floor. Izzy Ruta into the game for the first time. Davis, kick out, foot. 30 seconds to go in the first. Falcons trying to get one of their shooters free from beyond the arc. Here's Ruta dumping it to Dash. She'll step in, back out. Ruta's three, on the way. Strong, rolls around. Touched every part of the rim, it seemed like. Dash with a big time rebound. Back out, it's Ruta. Final seconds of the first. 10 seconds and counting. Davis. Last second shot here for the Falcons. Three seconds, two seconds, one second. The left-handed floater is good at the buzzer. Nev Davis with the lefty runner. Baskets good by Nev. Falcons cut the deficit to seven. After one quarter of play, Skins on top. It's 15 to eight, second quarter. Coming up next here on WBCB. Don't go anywhere. utility bill delivered electronically. Enrollment couldn't be easier. Just go to bcwsa.net or call 800-222-2068. With electronic billing, you have control to see your bills whenever you want and enjoy the convenience of viewing and printing up to 13 months of your previous bills. Best of all, the service is free. Sign up for e-billing at bcwsa.net. BCWSA, proven. Your day-to-day -day life is hectic between having to pick up the kids, make dinner, the countless other tasks that you got to get done. Rob's Automotive Van Collision is there to make your life a whole lot easier. Make sure you take advantage of their spacious waiting rooms, the large flat screen TVs, complimentary coffee and muffins, and free Wi-Fi. So even when you do have to stop, Rob's is there to make you feel right at home. Give Rob's a call today at 215-826-9200 for any of your auto repair needs. Daniela McDonald checks in for the Falcons. Quarter number two from Neshaminy High School. Falcons trailing by seven. It's Vitucci, Davis, Ruta, Dash, and McDonald the five for Pensbury. Vitucci, left wing. Davis. Gets it back, working it around to Vitucci, left wing again. Vitucci taking her time. Falcons trying to get someone free again. Matucci dumps it down low, it's stolen. Nice play by Gurish. Here's Zemitis. Corner, Purdy. Had a clean look, didn't take it. She's already got two triples tonight. Passed up a clean look that time. Here's Zemitis. All the way out. Reset, Purdy. Skip pass, corner. Zemitis back. Gurish on the way from three, give it to her. Gurish has five. Nishamani back up by 10. I mean, what a start from behind the arc for the skins. This is unbelievable. What's that, the fourth three they've hit so far? McDonald with a response. Three pointers good by Daniela McDonald. Falcons trying to cut into the deficit with a little bit of their own outside shooting. Gurish again, no. Vitucci with the board. Here she comes, head full of steam, hesitation dribble, spins, kick out. Davis thought about it, didn't take it though. Another clean look passed up, gets it back. Pump fakes, drives, kicks, McDonald, Vitucci, and a foul is called. Izzy Ruda was trying to get free inside, but Taylor Gurish gets That's called for the foul. Panaro Mathias re-enter. Ruda and Davis Emily take a seat. And 
Layla Mathias checked in for the Falcons. Matucci to inbound. Gets it in and hits off the net. It's loose. Garrish steals it. Zemitis into the front court. Looking, dribbling. Puts it out. Garish. Already with a three in the quarter. Looking to extend the seven point lead again. A three on the way. Yes. Wow. <laughs> it's Lindsay Little this time. Little three. The fifth three already tonight for Nishamani. 540 and counting to go in quarter number two. Batucci, the response. No. Zemitis with a board. Gurish. Purdy. Cofield, baseline drive, floats it up and in. And I was just getting ready to say that when, when you have to pay that much attention to the outside, you're leaving yourself open for a drive to the basket, and that's exactly what happened. It's been on the Chamonix to this point. A little over five to go in the first half. 23-11 the score. And a public service announcement for the Pensbury High School class of 1973. Your 50th reunion's coming up on May 6, 2023, from 6 to 10 p.m. at Westerby Hall at 425 Hood Boulevard in Fairless Hills, Pennsylvania. To register, go to Pensbury 1973 50th That's Pensbury 1973 50th Well, Eric, to this point, you mention it, you've been in a little bit of disbelief. Some of the made threes, the amount of made threes at this point, five triples, 15 of their 23 points coming from beyond the arc tonight for Nishamani. Yeah, it's uh, it's just been that kind of that kind of game so far for the Skins. They are they are just pouring it in from the outside, and there's no other way to do it. Uh, or to say it, it's and we noticed exactly what that creates on their last offense possession, where they really had to focus on guarding the three-point line, and then next thing you know, it's a drive to the rim and an easy lay-in. So uh, it's going to be interesting to see how Pensbury decides to defend this because sometimes when a team can't shoot from the outside, you just go to a zone. But obviously, you can't do that because. The opposite's happening, and they're just pouring it in. The Chamonix in man-to-man -man defensively. Petucci motions people out. Five out offense for Pensbury. Here's Matthias pulling it out, dribbling, kicking it around the corner, around the perimeter, I should say. This is Vitucci. She'll drive right side. Kick out. Gilchrist penetrates. Right hand, short. Caught herself under the basket that time. Little with a board. Zemitis, head full of steam, tried to find a corner three opportunity. That time intended for Cofield. Couldn't handle the pass to turnover back the Falcons' way. It, re it really is impressive with Zemitis that she doesn't only play inside, guard the center for the other team, but she brings the ball up like a point guard sometimes. And that is such a, ma a massive mismatch because you'll likely have the center for your team guarding someone that can handle the ball like a point. Petucci met with a double team. She's in trouble. It's stolen. Purdy on the run out. Whistle. It's a carry. Carry violation. Ball goes to the Falcons. Well, that's a call you don't always see anymore. Correct. You do not. <laughs> but the right call that time. It's definitely the right call. But I feel like, I feel like the majority of ball handlers anymore in basketball. You can probably call that on. Sophia Vitucci trying to get the Falcons back into this one, trailing by 12. 4-10 to go in the second quarter. Here she is, Vitucci, the junior guard, starting for this offense for three years. The leading scorer for this team. She's got three. Vitucci steps into a triple and hits. Give her six, all of it coming from the three-point line. So right now, when you're in a point early in the game where you're down double digits, it's either get great possessions and finish or hit threes. 
So it's going to be interesting to see which method Pensbury decides to use. So Midas using her frame to get position inside for an easy deuce. Lead back to 11 for Nishamani. So Midas has seven. Vitucci looking at the rim, thinking about it. Wants a screen, opposite side from Pinero. She'll drive left, it's out. McDonald, three on the way. No, so Midas with a board. Might have got away with a couple steps that time, but I was thinking the exact same thing there. Up ahead pass, it's Purdy. Zemaitis gets it back, opposite pass. Into the corner, Cofield, three on the way. Give it to her. Cofield's got five in the quarter. Lead is up to 13, largest lead of the night for Nishamani. Skins fans feeling it here tonight. Nishamani looking for their first win of the year against Pensbury. And the snap that spell of uh, losses against, this, uh, against the Falcons as well. Couple of one-point losses in both meetings in the regular season here in the SOL tournament. Dash with a response, it won't go. McDonald loses it. Corner, Matthias. Two minute mark here in the second. Vitucci's three, short. Matthias fighting, McDonald had it and it's stripped. Purdy with a board. She'll give it to Zemaitis. The Chamonix gonna take their time here. Under two minutes, first half up by 13. Now I mentioned having efficient uh, offensive possessions if you're the Falcons. The same goes for Nishamani because even though you have a 13 point lead with a minute and a half left in the second quarter, there if you just play the scoreboard and just try to do whatever, you're gonna find yourself back into a tight ball game. So Nishamani, and this I always think this is an interesting strategy, just taking the air out of the ball, because you're also limiting the amount of possessions you can have, not only the other team. So sometimes if things start spiraling the other direction when a team's doing this, you know, it, it, can also, it can also put some pressure on you. Interesting here is the Midas has dribbled off arguably 50 seconds now and counting almost a minute of time here. Now, Nevaeh Dash will pressure her. Left hand dribble and a foul is called. All that time taken off. Only for a foul to get called that far out from beyond the three-point line. If you're Nishamni, that's an absolute win. <laughs> I mean, you, you can't ask for much more. Sherman and Foote will check in for Pensbury. Cofield will check out. Now pay attention to this. There's about 50 seconds left in the half, and Iberando is back in for the skins. She's got two fouls. It could be something interesting if she picks up a third late in this Great half. Great point. Great point. Here's the Midas muscling her way inside. Left hand runner, give it to her. Wow. It's the Reese the Midas show to this point. She's got nine. <laughs> she is running the show, that is for sure. Nishamani up by 15. Their largest lead continues to grow. It's Fatucci in desperation mode. Falcons. Facing a zone, Vitucci with a double team. Dribbling around, dash, pump fakes. Vitucci gets it back, thought about it. Still doubled. Muscles inside, off the back of the rim, no good. Rebound by Zemaitis. Final seconds tick off, and then the Chamonix Skins take a 15 point advantage into the halftime locker room. Slow start for the Falcons, down double digits after one half of play. We'll take a quick break, tally up the numbers. First half numbers, second half action coming up next. You're watching High School Basketball here on WBCB. Don't go anywhere. The Gator, Jerry Blavitt, inviting you to come on by and experience true traditional Italian cuisine at the Revere Restaurant at 802 River Road in Ewing Township. You're always welcome at the restaurant. I mean, it's like stepping back in time. You feel like you're dining in South Philadelphia or in New York's Little Italy restaurant. You can start the meal with complimentary Hoboken bread. You choose from a menu featuring fresh seafood, steaks and chops, or homemade pasta dishes. You can even eat at the bar. 
The restaurant is open seven days for lunch and dinner. Private rooms are available for special affairs. Plus, we do catering. Remember, the Revere Restaurant, 609-882-6365. Again, that's 609-882-6365. Come on home and experience the true taste of Italy at the Revere Restaurant, 802 River Road, Ewing Township. Are you living with relentless pain? St. Mary has a new way to help. Knee and hip replacements with a smarter process for faster recovery, earning prestigious awards for quality and value. A rapid recovery program has you walking just hours after surgery. And breakthrough advances, such as custom-fit joints, position you for a longer pain-free life. 215-710-5888. St. Mary Orthopedics. It's your health. Expect more. It's a new year at Team Toyota and we're still here for you. With new Toyota models arriving weekly with no markups above MSRP. And with selection. With over 200 certified Toyotas and used cars for every budget, you can drive one home today. And with service. Check out our seasonal specials that will save you time and money. So happy new year. We're always here for you. At one of our three locations in Princeton, Langhorne, and Glen Mills. Or at TeamToyota.net. Whether you're just getting started, already well on your way, planning for your future, drafting your vision, growing toward greatness, or finding that dreams really can come true, whatever your next steps are, we'll be right here with you, just like we have been for 150 years. Start here. Grow here. Stay here. Penn Community Bank. Here we are, and here we grow. Member FDIC. BCWSA customers, former Phillies pitcher Tommy Green here. I played on the 1993 National League Champs, so I know a thing or two about what it's like playing on a winning team. BCWSA has all the ingredients. They make it easy for their customers to get automatic updates by text, email, or phone anytime there is a disruption in your service area. You can even customize your alerts by going to bcwsa.net. That's bcwsa.net. BCWSA, your partner for a safer environment. BCWSA, proven. Jefferson Health has been serving Northeast Philadelphia and Bucks County for more than a century. Their Frankfurt, Tarsdale, and Bucks Hospital locations are there for you with primary and specialty care, emergency care, and of course, inpatient care. Wherever you live, work, or play, Jefferson Health is there with exceptional care. Jefferson is where you are. Call 1-800-JEFF-NOW to schedule an appointment or visit jeffersonhealth.org. Hi, Merrill Reese reminds you to come back home to traditional Italian cuisine at the Revere Restaurant, 802 River Road in Ewing Township. You'll always feel welcome at the Revere. It's like stepping back in time where you'll feel like you're dining in South Philly or New York's Little Italy. Start your meal with complimentary Hoboken bread. Choose from a menu featuring fresh seafood dishes, succulent steaks and chops, or homemade pasta. Pasta dishes. You can even eat at the bar. The Revere is open seven days for lunch and dinner. Private room available for special affairs, plus catering. For reservations, call 609-882-6365. At 609-882-6365, come home to traditional Italian cuisine. The Revere Restaurant, 802 River Road, Ewing Township. McCaffrey's Food Markets, exceptional every day. Family owned and operated for over 40 years, McCaffrey's is part of your community and a very proud supporter of our local high schools. For true value on the freshest meats and produce to their own prepared food department, to everyday savings on your necessary items, McCaffrey's is exceptional every day. And it's in your neighborhood in the Edgewood Village Shopping Center, 635 Heacock Road, Yardley. The villages of Newtown at 2890 South Eagle Road and also in Bluebell, Princeton, West Windsor, and the best of McCaffrey's in Doylestown. You are not just building a company. You are helping to build your community. For 150 years, Penn Community Bank has been strengthening our region, serving as a trusted partner and resource for businesses like yours. Our team of business bankers can get you where you need to go. Real relationships, expert advice, swift solutions to power your growth. Start here, grow here, stay here. Penn Community Bank. Here we are, and here we grow. Member FDIC, Equal Opportunity Lender. Don't let joint pain bring you down. See how you can get relief at a free joint pain seminar 
at St. Mary Orthopedics. Joint care experts will inform and answer questions about diagnosing, managing, and treating joint problems and knowing when it's time for a joint replacement. Ready to get back to life? Get to the next free joint pain seminar. Details at stmaryhealthcare.org slash joint seminar. It's your health. Expect more. Former Philly Tommy Green, and here's the pitch. More people are online every day to check and pay their bills. Now you can have your BCWSA utility bill delivered electronically. Enrollment couldn't be easier. Just go to bcwsa.net or call 800-222-2068. With electronic billing, you have control to see your bills whenever you want and enjoy the convenience of viewing and printing up to 13 months of your previous bills. Best of all, the service is free. Sign up for e-billing at bcwsa.net. BCWSA, prove it. 1490 WBCB Levittown and Trenton and video stream live at WBCBSports.com. Your home for the best local sports in Bucks and Mercer Counties. Back into Chamonix High School, 29-14 the score. Pensbury trailing by 15 to Neshaminy looking for their first win against the Falcons this year. It's been a couple of one-point losses to this point for Neshaminy, and so far in the first half, well on their way to avenging those losses earlier this season. Would like to remind you guys, we've got some other action tonight across WBCB as well for those Falcon fans out there. The boys action on WBCB right now. Chris Ermer, Gus Barber on the call. That one, Falcons up by six last time we tuned in. It was Ryan Zuckerman hitting a leaning two when we had some, uh, some action checking in on that one. Now, tomorrow's action for the SOL tournament, if the Falcons were to be able to hold that lead, we would have coverage depending on if, if either of these teams are able to win. If both of them win, one of them wins, one loses, we'll have coverage of one of these Falcons teams, maybe both tomorrow on WBCB as well. The second round of the Suburban One League Tournament here on WBCB. Excited and, and really just thrilled to uh, be at this time of the year. You know, Eric, I always talk with people at BCB about this specific time of the season. It's right on the cusp of playoff basketball. You've got the SOL tournament and then District One tournament coming off with the play, coming up with the playoffs right after that. Across the river in New Jersey, you've got the Mercer County tournament. It's, it's pretty much, I like to call it, it's not March Madness, it's the February Frenzy of high school oh, basketball like and uh, it's really starting to pick up and there's no better time to lock into some high school basketball on WBCB. I'm going to steal that from you because Go that's ahead. genius. Love you it. better get that trademark down so when they try <laughs> to use it you can get money. It's in the works. It's in the works. Let's take a look at the numbers here at the first in the first half and uh, it was uh, only 14 points for the Falcons by way major, majority of the of the way by the three point line. Uh, six points from Sophia Vitucci, three from Danielle Sherman, three from Danielle McDonald Donald, and that is how you get 14 points uh, for Pensbury in this one. Or Nev Davis with uh, two as well. And uh, Nev Davis contributing pretty nicely off the bench with some good pacing. Another guard option, a senior that's been in the system for quite some time. Pensbury needs to find some ways to get loose. It's, it's apparent to this point that the length and the size of the Chamonix has caused Pensbury problems offensively. Yeah, absolutely. And uh, for Pensbury to get back into this game, they just have to be patient offensively, uh, not rush. As weird as that sounds, being down 15 going into the second half, you got to be patient. You got to run your offense. Got to you got to get that open person uh, for either a jumper or a look inside. And defensively for the Falcons, I wouldn't be shocked if Coach Ciola comes out with with a uh, with a lot of pressure because a lot of times when you have a team that's bigger than you you're usually quicker than that team. So if you can speed them up, maybe get them out of this rhythm that they've been, because they've been hitting jumpers all game long. So maybe get them out of the rhythm, speed them up, force some turnovers, get some runouts, stuff like that. You never know. It could quicken the game up, maybe, maybe uh, bring them back a little bit. Zemitis inbounds to Ibarondo, and the Chamonix will start first. 
Presley Foote starts the second half off for Pensbury. Along with Ava Jordan, she's in the game, the sophomore. Corner three on the way, no good. Rebound brought in by Mathias. Here's Vitucci. Dash left wing, well beyond the three-point line. Foot. Falcons working it around the perimeter. Here's Mathias. She'll pull it out. Pass across the court, stolen. Ivorondo. Corner, Purdy, her three. No, batted out. Brought in, Zamitis had it and then lost it. Skins get it back. Gurish, Ivorondo. Foot on Ivorondo. Keeping the pressure up on her. Inside, it's Gurish. And a foul is called on the Vea Dash. Dash with both of her hands up. Looked to be in legal guarding position, but maybe some hands down low we didn't see before that. Second foul on Dash. First team foul in the second half. Zemitis gets it inside. Three foot jumper is good. Zemitis kicks off the scoring in half number two. Give her 11. 17 point advantage for Nishamani. Well, it seems to be that simple for the skins tonight. You need to get your scoring going? Just go to Zemitis. <laughs> Reese Zemitis with 16 Division I offers as a junior, pouring it in in this one. She leads all scorers. Vitucci trying to get a screen. Corner, it's stolen. Ivorondo with another steal. The run out. She doesn't have numbers. Goes up and gets the roll. Ivorondo has four. And Frank Ciola needs a timeout. Nishamini running away with this one. 6.14 to go here in the third quarter. Falcons need to talk some things over. We'll take a quick break here on WBCB. More high school basketball when we return. You're watching high school basketball on WBCB. Don't go anywhere. Just play a quick one if you can, yeah. is hectic between having to pick up the kids, make dinner, the countless other tasks that you got to get done. Rob's Automotive and Collision is there to make your life a whole lot easier. Make sure you take advantage of their spacious waiting rooms, the large flat screen TVs, complimentary coffee and muffins, and free Wi-Fi. So even when you do have to stop, Rob's is there to make you feel right at home. Give Rob's a call today at 215-826-9200 for any of your auto repair needs. Falcons with possession, down by 19. Nishamini dominating this one so far. Dash, and right they're, corner. They're feeling it too. <laughs> they're feeling themselves. The fans are all up in this right now. Corner jumper on the way, too much. Rebound oh. by Ivorondo and a foul is called. Matthias will get tabbed for the foul. Ivorondo hit the floor pretty hard there. The past couple possessions, you're seeing exactly what I like about Ibarondo's style of play. She's not afraid to go in there and mix it up and, and get hit and all that different stuff. And, uh, you know, it, it, it really helps her sometimes because I think especially in girls' basketball, you don't always see that physicality. Vitucci on the drive, too strong. Second chance opportunity. It's dash and it's good. She got that, and it almost was a three-point play, too. I mean, that, there was some contact coming down on her during that. Dash with her first points of the night. Vitucci coming with pressure. Ball's loose. Foot hits, hits the floor. And a jump ball is called. Presley Foot getting her nose right in the action there. I mean, literally getting her nose in it as <laughs> she comes up rubbing her nose. She seems to be okay. She'll stay on the floor. That defensive intensity keeping up. And just as I say that, Danielle McDonald will come in to give her a breather. A well-deserved one at that. Falcons get possession back. And there's that pressure I was talking about coming into the half. Speeding them up, getting the turnover. And, and uh, here we go. A chance to come even closer. Sherman works it into the corner. Dash. McDonald now. Vitucci. He's got an open corner right now. 
McDonald, well beyond the arc. Sherman. Now Vitucci, left wing. Taking her time, under five to go, third quarter. Falcons trail by 17. Mathias forcing the issue. It's a kick out. McDonald, a triple on the way. It rattles around the rim and in. The player is good by Daniela McDonald. And you know one thing for sure, the Falcons are not going to go away. This is a team with a very nice pedigree. A lot of girls coming back from that team last year that had a lot of success. You're not going to get them to just roll over and, and go to sleep. Purdy's three won't go. Daniela McDonald with a big rebound. Here's Vitucci. Vitucci in transition. The right-hand runner off the glass. It won't go. Zemitis with a board and a foul is called. And this is exactly what I was talking about. You get the pressure, speed them up, get them out of that rhythm when they're taking the jumpers and everything like that. And now just like that, you have a 14-point game again when it was up at 20. Inbounds pass to Gurish. As we approach the four minute mark here in the third, Nishamini still with a sizable lead. Gurish double teamed around midcourt, gets it to Iberondo. Foot hounding her all the way out near the volleyball line now. It's Presley Foot playing some great defense. Iberondo with two fouls, getting space to Gurish, a triple short. Rebound by Zamitis. Second chance, left hand, rattles around, no good. Still loose. Gurish with another rebound. Nishamani is everywhere on the glass tonight, and a jump ball is called. It's going to stay with the skins. The intensity ramping up here, jump ball. Called underneath Nishamni with an inbounds play under their own basket to follow. Matthias back in, foot comes out. Cofield, inbounds. What a nice luxury when you're having a struggle getting the ball in on an inbound. You can just throw it up to your 6'1", 6'2", player. Purdy working around the perimeter. It's an Ivorondo three. Nothing. Save attempt by Purdy won't go. Danielle McDonald comes back in. Gilchrist will hit the bench. <laughs> Sofia Vitucci gets in the lane, kicks out. McDonald with a jab step. Regathers. It's Matthias. Skip pass. Dash. Corner. Sherman with a pump fake. Gurish all over. It's a double team. A double dribble not called. Matucci inside to Matthias, all alone. McDonald thought oh, about wow. it, put it on the floor. Might have got away with a travel. Dash, right corner. Matucci steps in, floater, took contact. No good. Ball's batted out. Ivorondo with a rebound. As she hits the hardwood, it's a foul against Danielle Sherman. Fouls on Danielle Sherman. First, First foul against Sherman. Fourth team foul against Pensbury already. None against the Chamonix here in the third. 2.53 to go third quarter. Nev Davis checks in for Pensbury. Zemitis to inbound. Here's Gurish. And a foul is called. Nev Davis. That's the fifth foul team foul Davis now in the third quarter alone. It's a large disparity, five to zero. <laughs> Agreed. <laughs> Zemitis, Sherman on her. Left hand dribble across the timeline, into the corner she goes. Almost met with a double team, gets out. Here's Iberondo. So we approach the 2.30 mark here in the third. Iberando is going to drive, muscle in, float it up, off the glass, and in. Iberando. has got four in the third, give her six on the night. Leads back up to 16. Sherman. I mean, that's just incredible to be able to take that contact and, and get it up with that much touch where it's going to bounce around and go in. Sherman goes to work in the post, blocked by Zemitis. Last touch by the Falcons. It'll go back with the Shamini. The Skins can do no wrong here tonight. 
Now, what was really cool about that block attempt and successful block attempt was she kept the ball in bounds and was able to get it to hit off of the Pensbury player. A lot of times you see players block it just out of bounds. When you keep it in bounds, usually good things happen off of the block. Garish picks up her dribble in, the, in a danger zone. Cross court pass. It's a three on the way. It won't go. Loose, last touched by Nishamini. Refs are going to meet on this one. This might get overturned. And it's going to be Nishamini ball. <laughs> I wasn't sure what he was yelling about there. He wanted his subs to come back. I figured his voice was raising. I thought he was just mad about the overturn. <laughs> <laughs> Lindsey Little, the inbound. Gets it in inside Mirando. Foot all over. Irizarry kicks it inside to Gurish, and she is fouled. Six to zero. <laughs> So, I'll have to say, Mike, I've never seen in a basketball game before a team get into the bonus while having zero fouls. So, I'm really interested to see if that happens here. Yeah, I've, I've never seen it either. I don't think. I can't recall. Iberondo to inbound. Gets it in. This is Gurish. Iberondo gets it back. Catch and shoot triple. Nets it. Wow. That's a three. Now it's Lola Iberondo putting on a display here in the third quarter. You could She's not, got seven. You could not have drawn that up any better. They got exactly what they wanted. They got the inbound, the pass back, and then the screen for a wide open player. And that's, that's obviously how they drew it up. Dash is triple short in the corner, fighting for it. Matthias has it. It's out. Vitucci, jab step. Two on the way, short again, volleyed about, and a foul is called on the floor. There it is. It's going to be against the wow. Chamonix Presley foot, fighting her way inside and drawing the foul. Well, we're still not going to see it. Foul is on Taylor Gersh, her second. I think, I think we put the old announcer jinx on to that one. <laughs> Fatucci inbounds. Left side. Gets it into Dash. Driving. Puts it up and hits. Fought off some contact that time. And a timeout taken by Frank Ciola. Falcons trail by 17 under a minute to go in the third. Nishamini continuing to dominate this one. Don't forget, fans, you miss any of today's action, you can read all about it in tomorrow's edition of The Trentonian for your complete local and national news. Seven days a week, it's The Trentonian, or online at trentonian.com. The only newspaper serving Bucks, Burlington, and Mercer County, seven days a week. It is The Trentonian. And this is the McCaffrey's Food Market's Game of the Day. McCaffrey's exceptional every day in the Edgewood Village Shopping Center, 635 Heacock Road in Yardley, and the villages of Newtown at 2890 South Eagle Boulevard. For complete automotive service, trust the Peruzzi Auto Group for value and service on all makes and models. Free multi-point inspection on your vehicle with any paid service. 10% military and law enforcement discounts on any service. Buy three tires, get the fourth free. All service performed by certified technicians. Peruzzi has big, comfy waiting rooms at their dealerships with free Wi-Fi and early drop-off. Peruzzi service open Monday through Friday, 7.30 a.m. to 6 p.m. Saturdays until 4.30 p.m. Peruzzi Auto Group, service for all makes and models. Visit a Peruzzi dealership on Business Route 1 in Fairless Hills, where their business is you. And don't forget to stick around for the DiLorenzo's Player of the Game post-game interview, brought to you by DiLorenzo's The Berg at 8919 New Falls Road in Levittown. Falcons trailing by 17 to Shamini to inbound, distance of the court to go after the Vitucci free throw line jumper was, a go was good. Zamitis gets it in. It's Iberondo. Full court press by the Falcons here. Matthias and Vitucci trap. Zamitis has it again. She'll get it up ahead. It's Gurish now. I really like that full court press that they just ran. They showed man the man and then ran it into a run and jump. Iberondo driving the right hand. Give it to her again. 
Ryba Rondo has taken over completely in the quarter. She's got nine in the third, 11 on the night. It's a 19-point advantage yet again for Nishamini. Presley Foot in the corner. Moves it out. Here's Vitucci. Final seconds of the third. Falcons need some life. Vitucci trying to force the issue. Whistle is blown, and a foul is called. I believe that's going to go against Lindsey Little. No, it'll be against Irizarry. Ivarondo will get subbed out for Cofield this time. Inbounds pass to Dash. She muscles it up and nice. in. Fighting through contact. Whistles are silent. Falcons trail by 17. Zamitis just going to hold it. Final seconds tick off. And after three quarters of play from Neshaminy High School, the Skins on top by 17. Fourth quarter coming up next. You're watching High School Basketball on WBCB. Stick with us. The Gator, Jerry Blavitt, inviting you to come on by and experience true traditional Italian cuisine at the Revere Restaurant at 802 River Road in Ewing Township. You're always welcome at the restaurant. I mean, it's like stepping back in time. You feel like you're dining in South Philadelphia or in New York's Little Italy restaurant. You can start the meal with complimentary Hoboken bread. You choose from a menu featuring fresh seafood, steaks and chops, or homemade pasta dishes. You can even eat at the bar. The restaurant is open seven days for lunch and dinner. Private rooms are available for special affairs, plus we do catering. Remember, the Revere Restaurant, 609-882-6365. Again, that's 609-882-6365. Come on home and experience the true taste of Italy at the Revere Restaurant, 802 River Road, Ewing Township. De Lorenzo's The Berg Pizza at 8919 New Falls Road in Levittown, owned and operated by third generation family member Tyler De Lorenzo. Tyler uses the exact same recipes that his great grandparents did back in the 1940s in Trenton's famous Chambersburg section. Try the only original Trenton tomato pie or other gourmet pizzas at Tyler De Lorenzo's The Berg Pizza. De Lorenzo's The Berg Pizza, 8919 New Falls Road, proud to sponsor tonight's contest on WBCB and proud to sponsor. Our post-game play of the game interviews for Pensbury High School. 40 to 23, the score. Falcons retain possession after a pass gets tipped by Ibarondo. Vitucci kicks it into the right wing. Now into the corner, it's Dash, well beyond the arc. Picks up her dribble. Matthias, back to Dash. Jab stepping. Here's Vitucci. Falcons have had to work for every bucket tonight. Dash. Cofield on her, corner, three on the way. It's Vitucci, no. Rebound brought in, it's Purdy up ahead. Ivarondo, no numbers for Nishamini, they'll pull it out. Lola Ivarondo right near the midcourt line. Dash on her. Ivarondo kicks, Cofield. Elena Cofield, back to Ivarondo. Zemitis. Nishamini okay taking time off here. Now this is where if you're in a Chamonix, I'm not saying hold the ball. Beautiful design play, but Ivarondo can't finish. Foul is called. Let's see who it's against. It's against the Chamonix. So I'm not saying hold the ball, but I'm saying run your offense. And when I say run your offense, run your normal plays, but run them one or two times through and see if you can wear down the defense, get good possessions because then you're just controlling and dictating the pace of the game, especially when, when Pensbury, being down 17 points, is going to want to speed it up and get as many possessions as possible. Zemitis denies Sherman. Here come the skins. Purdy met at midcourt, and a timeout called. John Gallagher want to talk some things over. Up 17 here in the fourth quarter. Skins can smell their first win against Pensbury this year. It's been a couple of tough one-point losses against Pensbury to this point. But tonight, putting it all together and dominating. Three quarters through this one, well into the fourth. And the Chamonix holding on to a 17-point lead here on their home floor, round one of the Suburban One League Tournament. 
Jammer Doors and Windows, a fourth generation family owned and operated business since 1920 with showrooms in Lawrenceville and Yardley. Jammer provides sales, service, and installation of garage doors and openers featuring Rainer garage doors, both steel and aluminum. Rainer garage doors are crafted for durability. Jammer also has entry doors, patio doors, storm doors, and windows, and they do their own work and installation using no subcontractors. With showrooms in Yardley and in Lawrenceville, give them a chance. They've got an A-plus Better Business Bureau rating as well. Jammer Doors and Windows, proud to sponsor tonight's contest here on WBCB. 40-23 the score. Zemitis working inside. A turnaround won't go. It's brought in by Matthias. Vitucci, head full of steam. Here she comes into the front court. Slows it down. Matthias trailing her, gets it to her. Left side, dribbling, corner, it's Dash. Flashing high post, a cutting Matthias, the turnaround, it won't go. Rebound by Zemitis. Six minutes to go in the fourth quarter. Nishamini calls out their set. Cofield in the corner, Vitucci on her. Purdy, Iberondo. Inside to Gurish, around 18-foot jumper, won't go. Rebound by Vitucci, here she comes. Cofield from behind, but a good crossover to preserve possession. Here's Vitucci, another crossover, spin move, free throw line, kick out, dash, back inside. They go, muscling it up, no good, loose. Brought in by Cofield, here come the skins with numbers. Cofield on the run out, left hand, short. Here come the Falcons. Five minutes to go here in the fourth quarter. Still down 17, Falcons will have to go to work quick. Matthias into the corner she goes, it's Gilchrist. It's stolen, Cofield, the run out, foot, the pressure, the left hand, this time is good. Alina Cofield. Cofield with six. It's a 19 point advantage again for Nishamini. Pensbury with no answers tonight. Matucci thought about a healthy three, still thinking about it. It's Presley foot left wing. She's well beyond the arc. Inside, hard pass, tipped out. Matucci, pull up, baseline, good. Sophia Matucci with the jump shot. Matucci with points in each quarter. She's got 10, three on the way from Purdy, won't go. Rebound by Matthias. Pensbury has it. If that one went down, that was going to basically be the dagger because then you put it at 20 points with four minutes left. Vitucci working inside, second chance, blocked. Fighting for it is Matthias, last touched by Nishamini. That's just great hustle. She fought around uh, Zemitis and got that little touch off of her. They need every little break they can get right now because they've gotten themselves into a situation where they just need the, they need everything to go right. The big three for Pensbury checking out Vitucci, Davis, or excuse me, Vitucci, Dash, and Matthias all checking out. It's Davis, Ruta, and Jordan into the game now for them. Under four to go. Trailing by the in this one mightily. Here's Nev Davis. Jordan in the corner. Gilchrist posting up on Gurish. They don't get it to her. Davis again. Falcons well beyond the three-point line, working it around the perimeter. Ruda working it around the perimeter. Davis in the corner, flashing the ball around. Keeps her dribble alive. This is Foot now. Foot tripped and a foul. They'll get Cofield again. It's her third. They might want to check that spot of the floor because it, the way she went down, it almost sounded like there was a wet spot there. Emily Panera, the freshman, will re-enter. Gilchrist will take a seat. Checks in for Pensbury. 3.19 to go, fourth quarter. Davis inbounds to Jordan. Opposite, Panero, corner, Davis. Gurish on Davis. Presley foot, tees up a three. Too much, rebound by Cofield. With pace, Cofield 
in the lane. Left hand, she's fouled, and she'll go to the line for two. Elena Cofield with a strong effort tonight. Looking for points seven and eight tonight. They'll get Presley foot for the foul. That's her first of the night. Second shot won't go. Ruta with a board for Pensbury. Nev Davis, under three to go. Falcons down 18. Seeming pretty content, just working their normal sets here. Doesn't seem like the full comeback effort is on for Pensbury, trying to get some valuable moments here for some of their reserve players. Oh yeah, it definitely seems like they're just, at this point, just getting time for their other players. I mean, they, they took they took their big three out, and I wouldn't be surprised if we start seeing the Chamonix and empty their bench a little bit here, too. Iberondo, okay, just dribbling it out, and you have to wonder if the Falcons are going to reach out and pressure, trying to start that five-second count. Looks like they're in a zone here. Zemitis in the corner this time. So Nishamini well on their way to their first win against Pensbury this year. The Suburban One League Patriot Division champs for the first time since 2019. Putting it all together tonight and dominating Pensbury from start to finish. Pensbury with one lead in this one. It was three to two. And after that, it was all in the Chamonix. Jasmine Davis. Jasmine Davis will check in. Lindsay Little comes back in as well for the Chamonix. Ivor Rondo comes out. Gurish comes out. And this is a good win for the Chamonix. They feel proud, as they should, about this one. I was just about to say this one has to feel really good and really has to start setting in here because this is a team that they've had some battles against and just haven't been able to come out on top. And now you get them at home in a tournament game and you just take it to them. McDonald's three on the way. She nets it home. Three pointers good by Daniela McDonald. I'm honestly surprised that Zemitis is still in this game. And final minute here, Nishamini more than content, just dribbling the clock out, working the ball around the perimeter here. Zone defense from the Falcons. And if they take care of the Rock, they can just take the final seconds. No shot clock here at the high school level. And just complete dominance tonight for Nishamini. Zemitis pouring it in. She had a great game. Iba Rondo with a great game tonight. Speaking of shot clock, did you see that game from Oklahoma? I did not. There was there was a game in Oklahoma where uh, one of the teams stalled the entire game, <laughs> and the final score of the game was four to two. Wow. <laughs> I could not imagine calling that game. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not sure what I would do calling that game. I came across it on TikTok, ah. and someone. Someone took the entire game broadcast and sped it up by like four times <laughs> and played the entire game. Zemitis gets a standing ovation as she checks out for the final time tonight. Nishamini running away with it. And a big time victory as they will advance to the second round of the Suburban One League Tournament. They will play tomorrow. Triple on the way and in. McDonald continues to have success tonight from beyond the arc. She's got 12 and leads the Falcons in scoring. Big effort from her off the bench tonight. Steal by Jordan. Falcons on the run out. Left hand off the glass and in. Ava Jordan on the way out. 
Ava Jordan, the sophomore, getting some big points there. But that should just about do it. And it does. 12-point win tonight for Neshamini as they get the Pensbury Falcon monkey off their back. That's right, the Falcon monkey. You ever hear one of those, Eric? You ever hear, you ever hear of a Falcon monkey? I've, no, no. Well, I just made that up here tonight because Neshamini just got the Falcon monkey off their back. So it's like a spider monkey, but it's a Falcon monkey. Yeah, we'll just leave it at that. Great game tonight here from the Neshamini. Senior leadership on full display. The the juniors as well getting it done tonight and a big game from Reese Zamitis. Falcons in this one, they will fall to 17 and six. Neshamini improves to 18 and five on the year. Our De Lorenzo the Berg player of the game will be Daniela McDonald. She did a great job tonight from beyond the arc. She led the Falcons with 12 points. She'll take home a gift card for De Lorenzo's the Berg pizza. And the Falcons will head into the District 1 tournament next weekend. We will see where their game will be at. I'm assuming it will be on the road, but we will see how the other action unfolds across Suburban One League. How about the Eagles chant by the fans here? Oh, Eagles fever is in full force across the Bucks County area and uh, excited for Sunday. Very excited for Sunday. I'm excited. You're excited. I know you are. You got an Eagles hat on right now, Eric. What? You said Eagles fever. Would it be poorly timed to call it bird flu? It's <laughs> <laughs> all right. <laughs> Not too bad. Not too bad. <laughs> Falcons again. They drop this one tonight, 45 to 33. Next up, the District 1 tournament for them. For the Skins, the second round of the SOL tournament tomorrow. Their game, and they'll see who they play. It'll either be PW or one of the other schools, depending who will host, but Neshamini putting themselves in a good position as they head into district tournament time. They will have a home district tournament game. Falcons still up in the air in terms of their playoff game, if they will have a home or away game. For the boys tonight, we'll try to have updates for you on that one. You can tune into that one on WBCB as well. Chris Ermer, Gus Barber on the call for that one. The boys battling against North Penn, trying to get to the second round of the Suburban One League Tournament in that one. But we will have a home boys playoff game for you as the boys won the Suburban One League Patriot Division this year. And uh, we will have a District One playoff game for you on WBCB for West Emmy's Pensbury Falcon Boys Varsity Basketball Team right here, the home for the Pensbury Falcons on WBCB. I want to thank our sponsors who helped make tonight's broadcast possible. Jefferson Health, Revere Restaurant, Team Toyota, St. Mary Medical Center, McCaffrey Supermarket, Rob's Automotive and Collision, BCWSA, Penn Community Bank, The Trentonian, De Lorenzo's The Berg Pizza, Penn, the Pensbury Girls Basketball Parents Club, Jammer Doors and Windows, the Peruzzi Auto Group, the Pensbury Regional Basketball League, all proud to support tonight's game here on WBCB. One final time for the crew, Colin Sommer produced tonight's stream. Eric DiCrescenzo did our camera work and our color commentary. My name is Mike Warren. Until we talk to you again, we thank you so much for making us a part of your evening. You've been watching high school basketball on WBCB. Have a great night, everybody. Go Birds. Go Birds.